Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey Lemon, Global Services Technical Marketing Manager at VMware, and I want to welcome you to the Day 2 Mastery Series, where we answer the question, now that I've installed Skyline, now what? So in this episode, we're going to show how you can use Skyline's Upgrade Recommendations feature to strengthen the environments that you manage, make them more efficient, and more importantly, keep them out of harm's way. You know, upgrade recommendations can be a tricky topic. Reactions can vary from love to hate to anywhere in between. Um, personally, when I'm hard at work on my computer and I get a pop-up message or email that says an update is available, more times than not, I'll click cancel instead of install because I'm thinking to myself, I'll get to it later because right now I just don't have the time. Or better yet, I'll avoid an upgrade because I'm afraid that I may break something that's already working. As we all know, any environment can be very fragile so I'm reluctant that I may disrupt its balance without any insight on how any upgrade could impact other installations. So with that, you know, the reasons for not upgrading can go on and on. But not doing an upgrade could expose vulnerabilities to your environment and impact business continuity. We at VMware realize this, and that's why we've included upgrade recommendations in Skyline. So why should you be using this feature? You know, upgrade recommendations are important because they often include critical patches to security holes. Being aware of them makes your environment less vulnerable to harm. Upgrade recommendations can also include new or enhanced features or have better compatibility with other VMware solutions. They can also improve the stability of your software as well as remove outdated features. And most importantly, you could potentially remediate dozens of Skyline's proactive findings at once. For me, this benefit alone is worth the price of admission. So with that said, this product's called Skyline, so let's prepare for takeoff by looking at this feature in more detail. Upgrade recommendations are available under Findings and Recommendations. Clicking on Upgrade Recommendation displays all of the recommendations for your environment. They are sorted by vCenter Server. And if there are multiple upgrade recommendations, they are displayed in the order of upgrade sequence. So in this example, three ESXi hosts managed by this particular vCenter server have three upgrade recommendations, including the minimum build number for each version. So in this case, if you upgrade to the minimum build number of ESXi 6.0 U3, you could potentially resolve 37 issues discovered by Skyline within this environment. But if you decide to upgrade to a higher version than what is recommended, then the automatic product interoperability check will be invalidated. And yes, you know, speaking of interop, you may be asking yourself if performing the recommended upgrades will break connections to other VMware solutions that you're running. And I'm happy to say that Skyline automatically checks product interoperability for the upgrade recommendation. Clicking on Show Details next to the Upgrade Recommendation displays additional information which also includes product interoperability results. The product interoperability check will alert you if another product is not compatible with the upgrade recommendation. This way you are made aware if another product needs to be upgraded first before performing the recommended upgrade to proactively remediate potential issues that could have a negative impact on the environments that you manage. And with that, this concludes the session. I hope you found it informative. I highly recommend taking advantage of this great feature to strengthen the environments that you're managing and even more effectively address issues before they occur. Come back for additional tips and tricks as I continue to expand on day two content for Skyline.